Hello, people of the internet. Welcome to another episode of SUPS 101 by DOS Labs. Um, thanks for everybody uh, checking this out. I hope you enjoyed the last video on, what was the last video on? Oh, right, not proprietary blends versus proprietary blends. Thanks for all the comments. A lot of you asked uh, how my brows look so good, whether I wax or whether I tweeze. Um, really, I get all of my pointers from Blake Valdez of Journey One Fitness's YouTube video on how to get your brows looking fierce. So uh, I would just recommend all of you check that out because Blake knows his brows. So today we're talking about GMP, which stands for Good Manufacturing Practices. So they are a commercial organization. They are not governed by the federal government or local governments. However, they are a global organization uh, and they are meant to kind of regulate manufacturing practices. So they encompass a wide variety of things. And if you're a manufacturer, it boosts your manufacturing credibility if you get a GMP certification. So it's kind of like how supplements aren't regulated, but this is a good starting point. Um, they're kind of like when government agencies go into restaurants and they check their sanitary solutions and make sure they're at 300, uh, 300 parts per million per se, you know, to make sure they're really sanitizing the dishes and utensils that they're using that you are eating on. So without them, we're kind of nowhere. And so they're kind of a, a good thing to have. So we'll start up with some of the things. So it's why, would, why wouldn't everybody have a GMP? Everybody making supplements. The reason is cost. It's very, very expensive and it's something that it's an expense that continues in perpetuity. So when we look at the cost, just to sign up, $250, $1,000 per year to maintain. Then what it really comes down to is they can audit you whenever they want. So they can come in and inspect everything. An audit, depending on the size of your company, can take up to a week. An audit you pay for, and it's $2,000 per day because they have to send you their crews there um, and they are going to obviously be making a profit off of it. But the $2,000 a day, they have to stay there and they have to test things. So when they test, when they test one of your batches, usually depending on how many ingredients you have, it's a $10,000 batch test. They need to make sure you have X amount of caffeine, whatever it is you're claiming. Um, you know, you have to have your certificate of analysis, certificate of origins, all these different things on hand in case of an audit. So the average cost annually for a small company, let's say a manufacturer that has less than 20 employees, $46,000 per year. Now, if we move up to a more moderate manufacturer, we're looking at $184,000 per year. Now, a manufacturer like ours, I've asked him, he scoffed and he said, I wish I only paid $184,000 per year. So that's why not everybody has a GMP manufactured facility. On top of that, when you're talking about a GMP manufactured facility, you're looking at millions of dollars in equipment. You need state-of-the-art analysis, things to measure micrograms, um, you know, things that can measure volume. This is a lot of very expensive equipment. So I could understand if you're starting up and you get hundreds of thousands of dollars from investors and you'd rather go buy a sick truck with your company logo on it. Well, you know what? I drive a Volvo and uh, in turn, we get to manufacture with a GMP certified facility. So you got to lease out a warehouse. Where are you going to put all this equipment at? You're going to put it in your basement? You're going to put it in your homie's garage? I don't think so. Then you're hiring professionals that know how to run all this equipment. Some of the procedures that you need to follow to get a GMP certification. Hygiene. Uh, you know, everybody needs to wear their hair nets, their masks. They're wearing lab coats. It's a sterile environment. Climate rooms. Some items need to be held at low temperatures. So you need a refrigerated room. Um, you know, you can get away with that in a garage in Utah in the wintertime, but year round, you're kind of SOL. You need to have concrete written down procedures for everything that you're making. Uh, concrete instructions for all of your employees to follow. You're going to have to have rigorous training. If you hire on a professional, they're going to need training. Training videos, training pamphlets, uh, training propaganda, everything. It can't be like, yo, follow Jim around. Learn how to mix the shit today. Whoops, I swore. Learn how to make the stuff today. Uh, so records of everything that you do. Everything is even meticulously recorded. Batches. Batches are really important. Let's say later we find out that there is a batch that is tainted. We need a recall system with batches in there. So go in, look at the label at, let's say, you know, your local Gold's Gym, your mom and pop, your Vasa. See when the expiration date is and see if there's a batch number next to it. If it doesn't have a GMP certification, there's more than likely not a batch number associated to it. Um, and then you need to be consistent. You need to prove your consistency to them. Moving on. Things you need to know. 
um, with the GMP. COO, certificate of origin. Where do you get your amino acids from? We need to see their certificates. Uh, this is part of the auditing process. If you get it from a back alley in Los Angeles and you can't prove it, sorry, you just lost your GMP certification that you've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to get. Certificate of analysis. You need to be able to prove what's actually in your stuff aside from where you got it. You need to have equipment that meets their guidelines. Also, the GMP is a global organization. They cover the European Union, Australia, Japan, Singapore, the USA, Canada. All these countries recognize them as uh, kind of the, the voice of reason in the supplement industry. So the biggest thing, professionals, not homies, not athletes. These are real people whose careers are doing this. Um, you know, when you have athletes mixing stuff, we have athletes and I love them, um, but sorry, Bronson, Mike, Robin, I'm not gonna let you anywhere near any mixers, anything like that. We don't even have them, but our manufacturer wouldn't. Uh, so you definitely don't want somebody that's getting paid in tank tops, measuring things that you need down to the microgram. So these are professionals and the ethics. You're not taking our word for it. These people aren't jeopardizing hundreds of millions of dollars in business and their state-of-the-art facility over shortchanging you three grams of citrulline and filling it with dextrose or rice flour. Um, so that's, that's a really great peace of mind. A lot of people say, hey, we're not a GMP facility. We make our stuff ourselves. You know, I'm not comfortable taking your scout's honor on you making your stuff. So earlier uh, this year, late last year, there's a lawsuit. Over 100 companies were sued. Guess how many of those companies made their own stuff? All of them. All of them made their own stuff. So when you're going to a GMP manufactured uh, facility, this is all of the things that you're getting with it. So whether it's a proprietary, proprietary blend or non-proprietary blend, just make sure you got a GMP manufacturer uh, making it and that'll give you some peace of mind. Not all proprietary blends are made equal. They're not all the same, but this right here, it's pretty cut and dry. So thanks for uh, tuning in. If there's any questions, feel free to comment. If there's any requests on anything you may want to be enlightened on, feel free to comment. Until then, we'll check you next time.